Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So we're going to have some tries for Aegon, but before we do that, we're going to open up some of these Monster Hunter Crystals. Alright, so first, let's take a look at these Grandmaster Monsters and Hunters Crystal. I have every champion that you see listed here, except for the first one, Abomination. So out of these crystals, the only one that I would want would be that Abomination as a five star. Uh, but we're also going to open up some of the lower end ones because that one gives you two stars and I would love to get some new two stars. All right, so let's go ahead. I have 40,000 of these. So we'll do five of them to start with and then we will do a few of these. Let's see. That seems to be a good spread and we'll get more of these shards um, later in the month. But that's what we're going to do for right now. So let's go ahead over to the uh, crystals here. And I have no idea of where they are. I'm thinking they're going to be in here. And if not, we'll check the other tabs. Be nice if they had like a little new indicator. So when you got a new crystal, you'd know which tab it uh just... There we go. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start with these guys here. And as I said, really, the only one that I want from this crystal is Abomination. Now, the reason that I still got some of these is because every four-star champion that I get from here is going to give me five-star shards. And that will translate into more tries for Dr. Doom or an Aegon or uh, anything like that. More dual class crystals I can open. All right. First one's going to be three star. That is going to be the most common. All right. So let's go ahead. And that's why I didn't, um, I didn't uh, just go hog wild on these. Uh, because I do still want to see if I can't get some new uh, two stars. I do have quite a few two stars. All right, let's tap that. Don't need to wait that out. All right. Is that the same one? Yeah, these are great. That RNG is awesome. All right. Anyway, let's keep going. And I'm going to check something because the objectives, from what I understand... You don't have to claim it right away, but we're going to check that because I didn't claim it. Let's see if we made any progress on the next one. Oh, I thought it was going to be another three star uh, Ghost Rider. All right. Okay, well, never mind. Let's keep going then. Um, it looks like it's updating. So we shall see. Tap that. What do we got? Any five star would be kind of nice, but it's a three star Venom. Even a five star, unless it's a uh, Abomination, not going to really interest me all that much. All right, last one. Okay, now that one um, finished that objective, just like the other one did. So I'm assuming it's updating, but we'll take a look after these uh, crystals here. All right. Last one, Abomination, Abomination. Oh, I, I thought it was gonna give me another one of those. All right, didn't even see any. All right. Yeah, see, it's it seems to be updating. Okay, let me go over here. Maybe it's different ones. Yeah, it's updating. You see here, we're on three of four. So yeah, it's updating, so you don't have to claim them. That's good to know. All right. Let's uh, grab the rest of these here. All right, come on. Make me scroll all the way down. Okay. All right. We're not going to spin these uh, uh, out 
for a long period of time. We're gonna tap that right there. And let's see, now I actually do want, I'm still getting three stars. I actually do want some two stars, hopefully some uh, two stars that I don't have. Yeah, I, I have all the three stars and I have all the four stars. So ideally, I'll get a new two star out of this. I don't even know who all I have and who I don't have. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have a, a two star Dormammu. Could be wrong, yeah, okay. I'm gonna say I, I could be wrong, but I was pretty sure I had a two star Dormammu. All right, what do we got? Come on, give me some new two stars. And I do have quite a few two stars. Oh, look, we've got a connection symbol. All right, it's back. What do we got? Two star void. All right. Um, I saw it slid over to that, um, uh, slid over the two star blade. And uh, I remember getting a two star blade from Marvel Insider. So uh, that would kind of been funny. All right, tap that. I'm not even sure who I want other than a new two star. All right, connection again, and it's back. And a three-star blade, who I already have, of course. All right, yep, Max Sig, good, good. Now, the thing about the Max Sig is that those crystals um, often give you four-star shards. So every three-star that I do that's Max Sig, I get that crystal, so it'll be some more four-star shards oh hey a four star so that is five star shards very very nice and a max sig ability crystal which most of the time gives me more five star shards so definitely like that yep see 275 and a max signature ability crystal that's all right don't mind that at all more dual class crystals that i can open all right me somebody uh venom pool i think do i have him yep i got him all right let's keep going uh, i was looking at elsa and i'm like do i have an elsa i'm not sure all right tap that what do we got i don't know if i have a, a um a warlock uh star lord yep got him it's gonna say i was pretty sure i don't know if i have a warlock but i might I might have a warlock. I got a lot of two-star crystals uh, not that long ago. All right. Hood? Are you new? Nope, you're not new. All right, let's keep going. We got two more to go. Let's tap that. And what do we got? Go away, man thing. Another four-star. I'll take it. More five-star shards. Um, I believe he's maxed. Yep. He's maxed as well. So, nice, nice, nice. More five-star shards out of these. That's basically like free five-star shards uh, for me. All right. And the last crystal is going to be... I told you to get away from me, but it's a four-star. Now, he's duplicate, but... Yeah, okay, he is maxed. I was going to say, I don't know if I maxed him. So that's also five star shards, so not bad, not a bad opening. Keep in mind, these are basically free, all right? Didn't cost me anything but a little time and, and some energy. All right, all right. Nope, don't want it, Kabam, thank you, Vo. All right, so let's take a look at the haul so you guys can see what all I got from these 10 crystals. Okay, 825 five star, and keep in mind that the uh, max signature ability crystals. Um, we've got three of them uh, for the four stars. Uh, will most likely give us um, five star shards. All right. Okay. So that's that. Now, because of Big Blue, I am going to open up five of these. Uh, uh, uh. All right. 
we're going to just let these spin out. So if you guys have been watching, you know I've been hunting for Aegon uh, for a while. Now, the thing about Aegon, he is a ramp-up champion. I don't like ramp-up champions. He's the best of the ramp-up champions, however. And if I were to like anyone that's a ramp-up champion, it would be Aegon. His ramp-up is pretty much straightforward. Maintain your combo and just keep hitting, you know? But I don't really like him. However, there's some new content that dropped um, called the Abyss. All right, slowing down. <sighs> yeah, we got our egg on. Right. Anyway, um, I would have taken that Captain Marvel movie over him. Anyway, um, the Abyss is currently the hardest content. And while you can do the Abyss, and there are people that have done the Abyss without an Aegon, without any of uh, the champions that are highly recommended for uh, many of the paths, you can do it. It'll cost you more resources. Now, if you are very, very skilled, you can reduce the uh, resource usage as well. But Aegon, he is the biggest saver that you can get. And so I decided that I'm not going into the Abyss unless I get an Aegon. Now, the other reason is that I don't like long fights. All right, let's see, it's slowing down. Second crystal, what do we got? Hmm, three star. Interesting. Um, I don't like long fights. And I looked at the Abyss. I looked at people fighting in the Abyss and it did not look fun to me at all. Then, I'm like, all right, I was opening up a bunch of dual class crystals for Aegon. And I'm like, what am I doing? I'm trying to get a champion that I don't really like to do content that I'm not going to like. But it is what it is, and we're doing it. Um, Labyrinth of Legends, I did not like Labyrinth of Legends. I've already 100%ed it. But I didn't like it. I did not have a good time in Labyrinth of Legends. Uh, when I looked at the Abyss, it did not look like a good time to me at all. All right, slowing down. What do we got? Ooh, you could have stopped right there. A Storm Pyramid X six star would have been awesome. Um, but it is what it is. I know about these crystals. Uh, the four star will give me, at least because I have all the four stars, so I do get five-star shards uh, for duping the four-star. So that's the redeeming value there. Now, that four-star She-Hulk is kind of funny because uh, I maxed her out. Then they changed her. They gave her a nerf. Then they gave out rank down tickets. So I took her, the four-star, down to rank one. Then during level ups, I slowly took her back up. And now she's maxed out again. Uh, great for grinding arena. I want to have as many uh, four stars at max rank uh, as I can just for the arena grind. Um, but right now I was taking a pause on uh, maxing out four stars to work on my five stars. All right. Slowing down. I would have even taken that rhino. Six star rhino. Yeah, I would have taken it. All right. Last crystal. Uh, big blue. Anyway, um, so uh, we'll see how this goes. I already kind of figured how it was going to go, but there's always a chance. And I want to be able to say I tried to get Aegon. Okay. One of the things that I regret, and I remember it, uh, he was in the arena and I did not go for him and I could have gone for him in the arena. But I had just done a big grind, and I was burnt. I did not really want to go for Aegon uh, or any champion, and I knew he was going to go pretty high. All right? Last one. Can it be anybody good? Wow, a three-star human torch. Great. Anyway, um, so if I could do that again, I would go for uh, Aegon in the arena. But I was so tired. I just didn't want to do that. 
Um, but if he comes to the arena again, then I'm going to have to go for him. I've spent a bunch of units already uh, trying to get him, but I'm okay because I'm not going to do the Abyss. It's permanent content. It might be next year sometime before I ever do the Abyss. It's cool. Um, maybe it'll get uh, reduced in difficulty, you know? I'm not worried about it at this point in time, but I wanted to do this to say I did so that nobody can say, you know what? If you had only tried, you would have, you know, maybe gotten him. This is the exact result that I was expecting to have from these crystals. It was very obvious to me that I wasn't going to get him. Okay. I opened up over 30 crystals, dual class crystals until I said, you know what? I'm starting to hurt my progression, my roster progression by opening these crystals because I didn't need any of the champions in there except for uh, like two of them. And when I finally decided not to do it, I got one of the ones that I wanted, but I didn't get Aegon. He's the main one that I wanted. So I stopped, switched over to some other crystals, and I've actually done much better. So that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or if you just want to commiserate with me over the loss of my units that Big Blue convinced me to spend. But anyway, I'm still good for Cyber uh, Weekend, so that's what he was talking about. Um, I can afford this, uh, and I'm not in any kind of danger. Uh, I have the units that I will need uh, for Cyber Weekend. So that's the only thing. Don't want to go below uh, where I'd still be able to get the um, Cyber Weekend deal. But that's going to do it. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.